Welcome back, everybody. I'm Joe. This is Caitlin, and we have Chuck here with Exact Target, and we're here on Social Media Day in Motor City Casino in Detroit. Here, uh, Chuck, how you doing? Excellent, Joe. All right, so um, we got a lot of things going on, but uh, as a title sponsor for this whole event here, what brought you? Uh, what brought you to it? What what engaged you enough to become a sponsor? Well, Exact Target uh, really believes in the digital um, digital marketing and digital marketing strategy. So, we've spent about a hundred million dollars developing a platform that enables marketers to drive various levels of message sophistication to many channels, and social is just one of the channels that we support. So, what Exact Target enables a marketer to do is to really look at the channel of choice and if your choice is social be able to have a conversation with you about their brand uh -huh. to engage you in such a way that you become a brand fan and a repeat client somebody that would then maybe recommend their products so e exact target is using more than just social media social media is just one of the tools that you have what other what other tools are you using yeah so i wouldn't call it more of a tool joe more of a channel so uh, we, okay. we look at social uh the way that we view the digital space there there's a platform and then there's the ability to message to uh the channel of choice okay and so caitlin's channel may be that she likes to be contacted by email I might like text messages. You might like to be Facebooked or or tweeted. So it's about reaching the customer base. Exactly. And reaching to the customer with relevance, what we call one-to-one -one marketing. Now, can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, one-to-one uh, -one marketing is a concept that is really not a new concept. Mm -hmm. um, for years and years, database marketers have used one-to-one uh, -one marketing strategies to get information on the people that support their brands. Um, in the old days, they would take out a freestanding insert in the Sunday paper, let people know that they have uh, some type of a sale. Uh, in the digital world, uh, being able to drive relevance really around the subscriber's preferences. So knowing that you have children and the children are certain ages mm -hmm. and your children play certain sports i'm able to really look at my data and target messages to you that are both timely and relevant and get you to interact with my brand okay does that make sense yeah absolutely um so in terms of this event what were you looking for what kind of message were you looking for this event to send not only to the city of detroit but to other areas that may have a negative perception on the city? And well, um, I've, I'm born and bred in the city. I'm a big supporter. So when John came to me with an opportunity to be a sponsor, I looked at it, made sure that we had the marketing budget, uh, and I'm all for showcasing what we have here mm -hmm. in Detroit. Uh, the attractive thing for me, honestly, was that it was a platform that we support. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very big strength of ours. We've got about 150 clients in the Michigan market, people like Ford Motor as a client of ours, using the social channel to communicate about their brand across many of their brands, mm -hmm. right, about uh, the Lincoln Mercury and so forth. Um, so being able to support our local customers and really for the, the people that were here, if you saw the presentation I did earlier, it's, it's all around being able to target uh, the right message to the right person at the right time. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Um, where, do, where do you think Detroit has come from and, and where do you think they're going and, and how can we get to being a, having a better perception in, in the minds of people all over the United States and how does social media really play a role in that? I mean, what can we, what can we do and what should we be doing? Hmm, interesting question. Um, I think from a corporate standpoint, um, brands like Ford and GM and um, uh, Rock uh, Financial mm -hmm. do, a, do a pretty good job of getting the message out that this is a good place to work uh, and live. Mm -hmm. I think our economy was somewhat devastated, uh, mm -hmm. so we had a little bit of a, a, a bigger dip than I would say the rest mm -hmm. of the country. Um, really? You know... <laughs> The, th the issues with the city of Detroit and the previous mayor don't, don't really help us, so we have a little bit of a ditch to dig out of. <laughs> and, you know, the, the saying of, you know, one uh, <coughs> knocks out ten out of boys. Well, mm -hmm. we're, I think once we emerge and people see that we really have a, a very talented labor base, mm -hmm. 
if you look at the engineers that work for the companies like that drive our industry, mm-hmm. um, it's a very sophisticated labor pool. So um, having a governor that drives business uh, into the city and being able to tap into that labor pool, whether you're in aerospace or other areas, I think will help our economy just across the board. I don't know if there's a secret sauce that you can <laughs> sprinkle yeah. over the city to say, you know. But pretty much just spreading those those positive messages uh, on all the platforms and just hoping that it, it takes root somewhere and goes viral and, and spreads that positive word. As we were talking about in one of our earlier interviews, um, that people like, uh, or issues like Kwame make national news. Mm-hmm. However, something like this event, which is great for the city and it's bringing a lot of positive people and a lot of positive attitudes all together, will probably not make it that far um, away from the city as far as media goes. And, um, I mean, will we even see, will we see this tonight on the news? Or <laughs> I think we'd have to ask Joe and John that. Uh. I mean, I, I, and, and this would be great. There's a lot of people that when they heard that this was happening and could not believe that there's even this big of a tech and communications following in Detroit to actually make a whole party about it. And I think that's what we surprise a lot of people, that this is a very very big startup and a very big tech-savvy community. Do you agree? Or? I do, actually. And uh, so glad you talked about the media. Ashley Barrissey came by the booth, um, gave her a pair of sunglasses <laughs> and set her up with oh, some yes. ice cubes. Your sunglasses. Um, <laughs> so, and we talked a, a, a little bit uh, about <laughs> the opportunities that we have. So... I think people like Ashley could do us all a, a, a service by talking about today's event on the news, uh, you know, little snippets. Um, so I didn't see Christina Hancock, yeah. uh, um, <laughs> but it would have been nice. I know mm-hmm. she's a frequent tw- tweeter. Yep. Uh, I've tweeted her, and she's tweeted back. That, that's what I was going to ask. What's your preferred way of social uh, interaction? I mean, is it is it just on Facebook? Do you still just primarily email? Do you tweet? I mean, do you use a combination? Yeah. Uh, just for you. Not, I'm not talking yeah, just... Personally? Yeah, you personally. I personally uh, like email as my, as my channel. Um, it's just I the easiest tweet. and the cleanest for you? Um, yeah, because um, uh, the, the daily demands of the job don't allow me to follow a lot of the tweets as they happen mm-hmm. in real time. And I follow quite a few folks, so mm-hmm. and I'm interested in what they have to say. But what I do with Twitter is I'll, I'll look like I'll, I'll browse Twitter in the evening and see what uh, what's been going on during the day. It's more of an aggregate for you. Exactly. Excellent. Um, okay. And I follow different topics. Hockey's a topic that I'm just passionate about. Mm-hmm. Uh, kids you follow that the play. Red Wings. I do. Good. Uh, good. Do good. NHL. <laughs> we talked. To, we talked to Jake a little bit ago, and he gave us a, a great uh, interview about how the Red Wings handle their social media, and, and they do an awesome job. And I agree. They do. I'm going to awesome say job. probably everyone that came here today follows the Red Wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say they <laughs> probably do follow the rivers. Mm-hmm. Or they should. <laughs> or they should. <laughs> so my personal channel yeah. of choice is, is email. I would say Twitter would be my second. Uh, okay. Facebook would be my last. Uh, uh, wh- why do you think Facebook's kind of it, – it sounds like it's a little bit not as favorable as the For other me one. personally. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you why. Because for me, all of the people that I interact with, I know what's happening. Exactly, and that's yeah. my sphere. My, so my business sphere and my family sphere don't allow me to have a lot of extended friends. Mm-hmm. My wife, on the other hand, her, her favorite channel is it's, Facebook yeah. because that's how she stays in, in touch with her girlfriends. They post pictures of the kids' graduations. Mm-hmm. and. So whenever I want to know what's happening with you the rest have of the family. <laughs> Don't you no, feel, do, do you feel obligated that you have to be on Facebook? Because, I mean, I know a lot of people are like, I don't want a Facebook, but I have to because this is where my high school reunion is going to be. This is where, you know, this is where the pictures get posted of vacations and things like that. You know, if you don't. If you're not there, then you're not relevant kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I want to see so-and-so's baby. This is the only choice I have. <laughs> uh, well, for me personally, I tap into my wife's exactly, Facebook yeah. for that kind of stuff. Okay. It's only because uh, it's a, you know, there's only so many things you can do in a day and mm-hmm. do them well. So yep. I try to just focus Sometimes on less is more. <laughs> Sometimes less is more for me. Well, especially. excellent, excellent. Well, thank you for coming out. Thank and, you. Uh, yep. Nice you job. Have, if you have any plugs or anything like that, if we need to check anything else, I would out. just like to say thank you to Motor City Casino Absolutely. for bringing this event to the city. I, I love uh, what Jenny has done and, mm-hmm. and John, Anthony. I mean, that's a first class yeah. team. Yeah, uh, I, I met some of the fo- folks from Levo Radio, um, and I thought um, th- you know all my interactions were very positive. So. I'm looking forward. I met a couple people today that were interested in dropping the ball in um, 
Campus Marshall Square. Awesome. That would be awesome. And, uh, you know, those types of things, I told them I'd, I'd be happy to help them with the marketing strategy to mm-hmm. figure out how we drive more um, um attendance for stuff like that so i like to donate my time to worthy causes i'm a member of the detroit marketing association um and we do a lot of things to help the city uh-huh. so to the extent that we can all plug in and try to make it a synergistic approach that'd be great so thank that, you that's much. what we're looking for thank awesome. you for stopping by